How chaotic does art get? So chaos, what is it? Where does it come from? What is the warp? What's even in the warp? Do they have art in the warp? So we have seen depictions of various chaotic things in the artwork over the years, and today we're going to have a look at some of those chaotic pieces of artwork. Some of it is fantasy, and some of it is Warhammer 40,000, or 40k as some people like to call it, or Warty Thou if you're very old. Does anyone call it warty thou? Really? Now art is an interesting subjective thing. I've always, I've always, I've always quite enjoyed the art in Warhammer, especially the chaotic stuff. It always looked very strange. A lot of it reminded me a lot of the Geiger or Giga-esque things that you would have seen in your sketchbooks at art college if you went. I say sketchbooks, we used to have these art books which would show you various pieces from certain artists. Uh, my friend had the Giga one which was very very good and I myself had the Roger Dean one. If anyone knows who that is let us know in the comments below. I was always a big fan of Roger Dean. When doing art at college I uh, remember painting a very big Heinz baked bean can with some fish coming out of the top. I guess that could have been chaotic perhaps, but I doubt it. But a lot of the chaos themed art usually depicts various demonic entities such as your Nurgle Great Unclean Ones or Corn Blood Letters for example. I always thought the chaos art was very interesting. There was always lots of little gribbly details which looked really good and uh, gave you a lot of things to look for throughout the piece. There was always details cropping up. Let's dive in and have a look at some of this chaotic art. And there was mounting in hot haste the steed, the mustering squadron and the clattering car went pouring forward with impetuous speed, and swiftly forming in the ranks of war, and the deep thunder peal on peal afar, and near the beat of the alarming drum, roused up the soldier ere the morning star, while thronged the citizens with terror dumb, or whispering with white lips, the foe they come, they come. Lord Byron, Child Harold's Pilgrimage. So we're checking out some of the Realm of Chaos Slaves to Darkness art here, and the first piece we're going to have a look at is a piece by H. I'm not sure what H's real name was, I don't think it's the same H as from the band Steps either. But anyway, this is a wonderful piece of a Chaos Knight mounted upon his Chaos Steed. And I do wonder if I look inside the eye sockets of that horse, if it is in fact a phantom horse, or is there a actual physical horse under that. There are also some wolfy snarling type chaps surrounding him, along with a few knights beside him, giving me an idea that this could be the Chaos Warband mustering for war. A happy gentleman now sitting on his throne, again by the artist known as H. Now I'm not 100% sure what this is portraying, maybe it's one of the chaos gods on their throne, could it be Korn or could it perhaps be Nurgle? It kind of gives me vibes of both of those gods. I'm interested to hear what your take on this piece is, but again, it does look very detailed and it is a very, very nice piece of art. I do like the skulls for knee pads there. I think they're wonderful. Here's a symbol you might have seen whilst doing your rounds in the Warhammer hobby, and this is the symbol of corn. Here it is represented in a sort of three-dimensional animal of sorts, it has a few heads for an animal, maybe it's more of a sculpture, but it does look to me as though it might be alive. Again this piece is by H. I do like the way the sort of heads are looking at you, a couple of those eagerly heads at the top right there are definitely giving me the eye. Again with eagle heads we sort of have a bit of crossover with another god, maybe this is a Zinchian version of the corn rune 
Very, very interesting. A piece by Gary Harrod now. And this, I do think, is a wonderful, wonderful art style. It looks a bit comic bookish. Maybe he was a comic book artist. But just look at the uh, contrast in that image. I think that's fantastic. Here we see a few Space Marines of the Space Wolves chapter having a beat down by what appears to be a Chaos Renegade. The said Renegade does have a few runes on him, one on his arm there, and one on his forehead which looks almost stamped on like an afterthought, and that appears to be a Slaneshi rune. A wonderful, wonderful piece. Piece of art now by Tony Ackland, and this seems to show a last stand of sorts of an elvish type character with an interesting mace weapon in her left hand. Sort of a mace with a spear on the top. I don't think I've ever seen one of those in my life before. Holding off a few beastmen. Now the beastmen also seem to maybe be quarrelling amongst themselves. Maybe they're fighting over the prize. Maybe they really want that special spear topped mace. H again now with his version of the symbol for the artist formerly known as Prince. No, I tell a lie. This, in fact, is the Slaneshi rune or symbol. And the detail on this piece is immense. I do wonder if it's supposed to be a rendering of a physical object or just a highly detailed rune. It does look a bit like a shield with a shield boss there surrounded by the skulls and then perhaps growing out of it is the rest of the rune. It's sort of a very sharp looking implement and I think that's fantastic. Now a lot of artists use ink to draw their art and I have some black ink here, some FW De La Rowney ink. And uh, if you look at the small print on the back here, I don't know if that's showing up very well, but it says, if you're enjoying this video, then please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. That means you, Michael. If you're enjoying the content here on this channel, then please consider joining the Patreon, the link to which is in the description below and up there. Gary Harrod is up next again with another Space Marine. And rumor has it, that this is the first picture of Horus, of the Horus Heresy theme. I'm not 100% sure if I agree with this. I think it could perhaps just be a random renegade, which later on got used as a picture of Horus, but I'm not actually 100% sure. Only the people in the know would know. Gary Harrod, if you're out there, please tell us, is this supposed to be Horus or just a Chaos Renegade, but I do like his power fist there with the sort of skull motif blending in to the back of his fist. That is absolutely beautiful. Also of note of what I assumed back in the day was lightning behind his head, I think is now actually very straggly hair. One day my hair might look like that and maybe I shall go Renegade with it. Another piece by Tony Ackland now shows the followers or demons of Corn. You can see a couple of bloodthirsters there. There's a few juggernauts in the middle there and lots and lots of blood letters accompanied by some flesh hounds of Corn. All these characters or creatures were absolutely fantastic back in the day. And I do like these original renderings of blood letters with their almost Giga alien-esque heads. The Bloodthirsters I always thought myself were a play on the Blau Blau Balrog from Lord of the Rings. If anyone else ever noticed that sort of uh, reference, then please let me know. Or am I just clutching at straws? Was that coincidence? Or was that a borrowing of themes? H is up again now with a very, very, very detailed piece of art of what at first glance looks to be wood elves versus space marines and then you realize that these are not wood elves these are very corrupted looking denizens of maybe the warp maybe some sort of wooded realm in the warp but they are very interesting and very disgusting indeed again they are holding a slaneshi banner so this is perhaps a slaneshi wood elf warband 
fighting against the Space Marines. Can't tell you which chapter these Space Marines are in this picture. However, notice the Space Marines are wearing the LE2 style Imperial armor, which we don't see very much of in later years. Perhaps my favorite part of the whole picture are the two trees at the back there at the top looking on at the battle. I think this is amazing. So which was your favorite piece of chaotic art? Do you have a favorite chaos god? If so, which one is it? Which chaos god has the best demons? Which demons are the best? Let us know in the comments below. Have you ever tried to produce your own chaos themed artwork? How did it turn out? What did you draw? Got an itchy face. Do you prefer the fantasy side of the chaos art or the 40k side of chaos art? Or maybe something we haven't seen yet. Do you enjoy your artwork in black and white? Perhaps using the black ink here? Or do you prefer it in full colour using maybe all these colours over here? Now I have to think, no I have to think, I do have to think. Now I have to say from all those pieces we just looked at, I think my favourite is the Space Wolves fighting against the Chaos Renegade. I did enjoy all the contrast in that piece. But also, interestingly, I feel that the Slanesh logo looks a lot like Prince's logo. It sounds like the baby downstairs may have woken up. It's my turn to take over in about 30 minutes. If you'd like to see some more Old Hammer artwork, and I know you do, then check out the playlist up here somewhere. As always, thank you very much for watching, and always remember to drill your barrels.